here's the situation we've got going on right now. This is my academic planner. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing like an organizing and decluttering kind of video because I need to organize and declutter. I remember doing a video like this in lockdown 2020 and like a lot of people really liked it and a lot of people have messaged me since been like, can you do organizing videos again? So I thought I'd just go for it. Basically, what I'm doing is, I'm moving uni house, so I'm moving from one to another. But I moved out of the other one like two months ago and I still have like a month until I can move into my new house. And so in those few months, I moved half of my stuff home and half of my stuff into Will's house, my boyfriend's house. So I'm gonna be like here and then I'm gonna be there, but I'm just gonna organize my stuff and I've got so much clutter. And I also do just kind of need to organize my life. So I think maybe the first part of the video is gonna be decluttering and like organizing all my physical things. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to do some like organization. Let's just get organized. I'm gonna start off by showing you what we've got going on. This is my situation I've got going on. So yeah, this is about half of my stuff and I really need to cut down because my room otherwise just gets so messy and it messes the whole flat up. She's a messy queen. I think the best thing to do is just gonna be like go through thing by thing and sort out whether it's gonna stay here, go back to university or go in the bin or go to like charity or something like that. There might be some things I could sell on like Depop or something, so I'll let you know if there is. I don't even know where to start. Let me start here. Might need a whole puncher, we'll keep that. I'm gonna time lapse going through some of this, otherwise this is gonna be a very long video, but let's go. Okay, so I've kind of gone through like half of the stuff. I've made it more chaotic and I'm gonna show you, but don't judge me because this is a midway point. This is necessary to get to the final point. So like, here's the situation we've got going on right now. It might look really unorganized, but it's actually more organized than it looks, you know? And this is the main things that are definitely going back to uni. I think it was more just that it was unorganized. Like things weren't where they needed to be. For example, this is wrapping paper. Okay, mermaid wrapping paper, I know, but it's whatever. It's nice wrapping paper, okay? But that was in a, a box with like my notebooks and stuff like that when I literally have a box that is just birthday cards and wrapping paper and stuff. So I don't know what, I'm just kind of, but there's also quite a few things that I want to put in my room here and leave in my room here. But that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to now organize what I can here into like its right sections and stuff. And then anything that I'm leaving here, I'm going to put into my room and tidy up basically. It feels stressful. I'm a little bit stressed at the minute, but I'm hoping this is going to make me feel a lot less stressful once I'm like, I don't know. So let's do that now. Okay, so I thought that I was done with all of my like stationery books, like uni stuff, and all of my decoration-y stuff, and then I found another box. So I'm going through this box now, but I've done pretty well so far. But this is what I mean, like I cannot, for the life of me, throw away birthday cards from anyone. Like I've literally got so many birthday cards here because I just don't want to get rid of them. And like so many photos. Look how many photos. I just don't know what to do with them all because I don't want to throw them away but I can't carry around four kilograms of photos with me. Bit of a tricky one but I'm gonna try and work it out I guess. Okay so I just sat for a few minutes and went through all of the photos that I got but I managed to just like thin it down to a couple that I'm gonna take to uni with me. A big pile of photos that I'm going to keep but not take back to uni with me and then some to go in the bin that were basically just bad pictures. So I'm going to like clean up that, put like some stuff in the bin and everything and then I just have to go through my kitchen stuff and where have I watched me for now I'm back. I've been here for a good like 10 15 minutes. No you have not. <laughs> And then I still have a lot to go through to be fair, I'll show you what I've got. These two bags are done, but, so I've got all kitchen stuff in there, and then clothes in these ones, and some like dress up stuff there. And just to clear up why I'm taking dress up stuff to uni with me, it's because we have weekly socials with a theme that you have to dress up for, so like there's just like generic dress up things in there, like little props for little costumes. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it's going. I think once I've put the stuff in the bin and everything, it'll be a bit more organized, but let's keep going, we got this. So I've made a little bit of progress and kind of tidied up the 
state that I made. And I'm going to carry on making a mess, but I'm going to move on. I think I'm going to do my clothes because it's like in a lot of little boxes. So I'm going to try and do that now. I think this is going to be more organizing, which is so fun. Like that's so easy to do. But yeah, I'm going to go through that now and hopefully that'll be like fairly easy to do. So let's go. So, as you can see, it's looking a lot more organised now, like, it is a lot more organised. Everything's in the right place and I'm, I feel a lot better for knowing that. I've also cut down on some stuff, some stuff I've thrown out, but not that much. Most of it I've either decided that I'm just going to keep in my bedroom here or I've just reorganised it. The only thing I really don't know what to do about, if you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment and like let me know what you think I should do because I don't know what to do. This was like poor thinking, poor planning from me. My vision boards. Vision boards in a bin bag, that's probably like really bad for manifesting, but it's just to move it, you know? But, here's the issue. So like, they're still intact, they're still like all fine, but the issue is I don't want to put them on my wall in my new house because firstly, they kept falling down, which was really annoying, and secondly, the sticky got all over the wall and I had to like scrub the wall for hours. I just don't want to do that again. So, I just don't know what to do because I've got like multiple of these. I'm thinking maybe I try and take the pictures off and put them on something else like change the board but I don't know or do I just try and like stick something on the back and reuse these or like I just don't know what to do let me know what you think I should do because for now I'm just gonna leave it but other than that I'm all nice and organized this is pretty perf <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm going to give you a little update as to where I'm at now and then we're going to move on to the other kind of organising I'm going to be doing in this video. So I did try and do a few little time lapses when I was going through some of my stuff and trying to basically cut down on how much stuff I have. I have so much stuff like. But I have cut down on things. I do have a little bit less now. I probably do want to cut down a little bit more and, you know, donate more and that kind of thing. But for now, all good. And I'm going to move on to doing another kind of organising and it's going to be like organizing my life so I'm gonna start off with some like journaling kind of organizing like planning ahead of my next month and everything like that and then I'm also gonna be doing some like budgeting which is something that I want to get a bit more into and stick to because I just have a feeling that I'm bad with money and I definitely think I could do a lot more to be a lot more cost efficient so I'm going to do that as well but first things first I'm going to show you how I'm organizing with my little diary and my journaling so let's go so this is my academic planner that I've got for the year so I think this is from Papier I don't know if you pronounce it Papier or like Papier or paper I think it's Papier I'm calling it that but it's so cute it's got like all pictures all personalized I'm just kind of in love with it right now but I'm using it as my like diary for everything not just academic Obviously. When I first got this, there's like monthly planners and I wrote like really important things on the monthly planner and then the start of each month I'm gonna go and write all the dates that I need to remember kind of on the daily bits so if that makes sense. I don't know if it does or not but it's alright. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on that now because I don't think I'm fully up to date and we're starting September soon but I want to write in a little bit of the October things as well just because end of September, start of October is really busy for me so I wanna make sure that's all nicely planned out. Got my important things highlighted and everything like that just so it's all nice and organized. Really excited because I love a bit of planning like this so let's go. So I also do need to do a little bit of content planning as well because I really, 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 I say this all the time, but I mean it. I really want to post more on YouTube and I actually have loads of ideas, which is really good. I think I've got enough ideas to get me through like September and October posting weekly. So I'm going to try and plan that, plan when I'm going to upload what and that kind of thing. So I think that's going to be the next thing I do now, plan out a few of when I'm going to upload YouTube videos. At the minute, I don't have a set day when I upload, so I'm going to see if I can work out when would be good and do a little bit of planning in that kind of sense. So I have planned videos up until the end of October. So hopefully there's gonna be YouTube videos. I'm holding myself to it. I need to just do it, you know? It's just, ah, but I'm gonna do it. And I want to, it's just like, gets crazy when I get busy and you know? But I'm really, 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 really gonna. Shake your body like a belly dancer. Anyways, if this video is uploaded on 
Friday, the 2nd of September, I'm on track, <laughs> then that means there might be more videos on more Fridays. Fingers crossed. So I've done all of that now and the only thing left to organize is like finances, money, moolah, all of that shebang, which is gonna be a tricky one. I, I'm not looking forward to organizing this because I'm like, a little bit nervous. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like sharing with you guys or oh, I'm going to be spending this much on this and this much on this because like, that's kind of a private thing. But I'm gonna start off by doing just like a little mind map kind of thing and just making note of the places where I spend money, like the different things I spend my money on so then I I can kind of budget for each category and try and work out in an ideal world how much I'm going to be spending which we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to start doing a little bit of planning now. Planning out my finances a little bit. I'm obviously going to make a better, probably a digital version with the, like actual amounts on it and stuff. It's all just a lot to organize, I'm gonna lie. So I'm gonna go into way more detail with this and I'm probably gonna make some kind of little chart, like a spreadsheet, but easier to understand because you know, I need it to be easy. But I'm gonna make it all super clear for me. I'm gonna kind of have like the aim for the budget and then at the end of the month, I'll like, what I actually spent. I'm just trying to keep it really, really organized. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm really excited. I'm not gonna show you guys that because Obviously it is personal writing down how much I'm spending on each thing. I'm not gonna share my finances with the world too much. But if anyone was wanting to kind of organize their finances, start a bit of savings, then this is probably how I'd recommend doing it. Set out all your categories, how much you wanna spend, like work out your normal spend for each category and then how much you want to spend. And also just work out where you spend too much money currently and try and cut down on that. But yeah, that is all the organization that I'm doing. So I have one more thing to show you in this video really quickly. I'm about to go home, well, technically tomorrow, but for you it's about 20 seconds. I'm gonna go home because I'm chucking out a load of my stuff at home which I'm gonna show you really quickly because I will be selling it on my Depop but I'll tell you about that more when I'm at home in three, two, one. Hey guys, just a very quick update while I'm at home. I'm taking pictures for my Depop now for the stuff I'm gonna be selling. Just gonna really quickly show you a few things because you might want to check it out. So here's literally five of the, I don't even know how many, like 20, 30 things I'm selling right now. So maybe check it out. Like Opoly dresses that I've worn just once or just for a video. Urban Outfitters stuff, Hollister stuff, Calvin Klein, Juicy Couture. I'm going to be selling everything for £10 or less, so really cheap. So if you do want to buy anything, then have a look, have a check now. My Depop is on the screen. And yeah, thank you guys. Back to me. But guys, that was everything for this organising video. First video on YouTube in a while, so I do hope you enjoyed and enjoyed seeing a little bit of organisation. I do really like making organising videos and a few people have been like, oh, bring the organising book back. So here it is. To stay up to date with when I'm going to be uploading, what I'm going to be uploading and everything else, then follow me on my social media accounts. They'll all be linked in the description box down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you 